all my models in my team activated, but Ross still has some reaction dice left, and here I'll explain to you what you can do with those. So I still have two reaction dice left. Now, before I can only react <coughs> to the active player, but now at the end of John's go, I need to use these dice up so I can react to any of those players. So I'm going to decide to spend one to move one of my models up six inches as a normal movement. And the other dice, I'm going to try to shoot a model on John's side of the board. Now we know it's over half range, just under 20 inches. Same as before when John tried to shoot me, I'm going to try to shoot one of John's models. And I'm not in cover. You so. are miles away from cover. I can definitely see you. So this is a four, five, or a six because it's over half range. And that's five. a hit. So okay. like John described before, each weapon has a damage. So this is a plus one to my roll. So I have a total of four with a plus one. But I need to get five or a six. And I've got a four. John takes a wound. I off. take a wound. So when that model next activates, I only get to roll two dice. And that is how the game runs. That's the end of round one. Well, just reset some of the board now and bring in some of the abilities that you can have for your leader and willpower tokens. So now we're going to step it up a bit, and I'm going to explain the leadership ability. So my red model here is my leader. Now every team has to have a leader, and they have the leadership ability for free, which allows any model in the team, when they activate and they fail, one of the dice can re-roll if they're within six inches of my leader at level zero. And every time you level up, that bubble now increases by one inch. So a level 14, for example, would then have a 10-inch bubble rather than a 6-inch bubble. Level 14? Or level 4? Level 14. Oh, 14. 14. 14. Level 4, yeah. Okay. Carry on, just keep going. Okay. So, for example, hopefully a roller fail here. A model activates, let's say this green model here. Oh, I definitely fail. I didn't mean to explain it that well. <laughs> Can reroll only one, sadly, because she is within six inches of my leader. Get to keep one dice, and as per usual, two dice go to John. Okay. Um, now we also have will tokens. Now, if you have five models on the board, you're allowed five will tokens. Use any tokens to represent the will. And you can spend one of these to increase an attack or hero action. We'll come to hero actions a bit further on. What he said. Yes, what I said. <laughs> and just one other thing, the leader, well, models normally activate or generate an action dice on a three, four, five, or a six. The leader will do it on a two, three, four, five, or a six. Because he's that much better. Because he's King. King Dick. But when you lose a model, you lose a will for a turn, or if a model is off the board for whatever reason, you also lose a will per turn. So every active model that's still left in your team, in your turn, you have the same number of will, which will regenerate when it's your actual turn, not a reaction turn. Uh, just moving on now, we have some different coloured dice over this side. The yellow ones are to keep track of the game turns, 
and as normal game is 10 turns. The red one is the initiative dice. So while as an active player, like I was in the last turn, if I roll a six, I get to roll another dice to chance to make another, another action dice. When Ross was the reactive player and he was rolling potential reaction dice to get a reaction, if he had rolled a six, the initiative dice would have moved on by plus one. And at the end of the turn, we roll for initiative, but Ross would get to add the initiative dice, whatever scores on there. So in that case, it would have been two, because he rolled a six. Okay, so shall we go on to round two? Why not? And sh for this, you can take the initiative. Okay. So I've got my five tokens. And I've got my five tokens. So I declare which model I'm going to activate first, or attempt to activate. So I'm going to go for the green model. Get that out of the way so no one gets confused. And because I rolled a 1, and she is within 6 inches of my leader, I get to re-roll and fail again. So that gives me a potential reaction dice, which is a 5. So I've got a reaction dice. So she will... Like he's cheating already. Yeah, sorry. Like his dice wasn't loaded and ugh. spending mm -hmm. jealous. One yes, I am. One dice to move a mighty six inches. Yes, six inches is mighty. So you just really keep turning the girls. Keep going. Now John can jump at any stage with his one reaction dice. But he's not going to. Not going to. Because he's a gent, despite what people say. Let's spend the other one to move six inches. That's the end of that particular model's activation. Now I'm going to go with the guy uh, with the yellow base. And that one can be re-rolled because he's still within six inches of my leader. It's all three. So remember, John can jump in at any stage after one of my actions. So, one dice for one action. And I'm going to do that now. I'm going to react. So I spend that action dice, and I'm going to move this yellow fella six inches up to there. Isn't that a bit racist? What, well, like Chinese? Hmm. Yeah, but it's Chinese, right? Doesn't really count, does it? No. Spend right, right, one. so we've just pissed off our entire country. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a gift! <laughs> there you go. There's loads more countries than there. Real countries, ones that matter. I'd <laughs> <laughs> right, be saying that in 10 years' time when you're goose stepping around. Goose stepping is another country. I'll oh, leave that one of them. Yep. Fritz. Okay. John's used up all his reaction dice. For the minute. For the minute. I'll spend the final one. Like a girl, try to get some cover. Right. Now I'll go for the black one. I mean the black base model. That was nearly another country. Still within six inches of my leader. Gotta say, it does happen, people, every now and again. That doesn't move. No. That doesn't. So I get to make a reaction check. Which is a two, and it doesn't. Right, 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 right. Now remember, you can move for your own models. Spending one. Spending another one to move up six inches. Spending the final one to move up, guess what? Six inches. You don't have to move the full six inches. Hey, if you got it, use it. Mm-hmm. And whatever colour that model is, it looks like a blue model. I'm going to attempt to roll three dice. And re roll one. And a six is an exploding dice, so we get to roll another dice. And that's a three. So I generated four dice with that model. I can't react because I haven't got anything to react with, which is good. One dice. 
another dice to move up. Another dice to move up. Final dice. Grab some cover. So my leaders left. Now remember, like John said earlier on, leaders activate on a two up, not a three up. So anything but ones, people. Ones, people. <laughs> but he can re-roll that. Because he's definitely within six inches of himself. Aye. Oh, only just. Only just. Only just. All right. One dice. Two dice, and you guessed it, three dice, moving up, six inches. Now, I've activated all my models, and I have no reaction dice to use, so we then move on to the next game turn, which will be turn three. three. And we'll roll for this now. I get the plus one for the initiative, so I was a reactive player, and I've got five. Ross will need to beat that. Which I don't. Don't. So I take turn three.